offices. Some of you work in them, cubicles, office space, desk, uh, whether you work at a car dealership, at a bank, doctor's office, whatever. Sometimes you just need a fragrance that smells good, but that's not too strong and overpowering. Well, I managed to find 10 or 11 of them in my collection that I think are all okay for this situation and they're gonna help you keep a little bit of money in your pocket. So if you wanna know what those 10 or 11 fragrances are, meet me on the other side of this intro and we're going to get right into it. I will see you in just a second. What's going on everybody? You guessed it, I don't know how you guessed it. It is your boy, Trey Sense. How are y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good, beautiful, wonderful weekend. Listen, before I even get started, you know I need a little something for you. From you, first of all, big shout out to the homeboy Cheapo Depot for hitting that 6K mark. Big up to the homie and shout out to myself. Y'all have already pushed me to 2,600 subs, big feet. But we gotta keep the momentum going. Got to keep the momentum going. I need you to like, share, and sub. Sharing is caring. Please share the videos. Like the videos, thumbs up, and after that, sub. All of that good stuff. Now, y'all ready for a little interesting video, a little discussion? You know how we do it here on the channel. 10 or 11 fragrances. It's, I keep saying 10 or 11 because it's 10. It's not a, in any particular order, but there's 11. But there's kind of two that kind of go together. All right. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. The first one. Is from the house of Animal and it is seduction. Now this one I think makes a good office scent. Why? Well, because it smells good. It gives you decent performance, decent projection, decent longevity, but it's not knocking, it's not knocking down the doors, but it does smell good, especially if you go two to three sprays of it. And if I were going to wear this to work to my office again, whether it was a bank or wherever, and I, I don't work in the office, but I do work with the public, so I do have to be somewhat mindful of uh, how I spray and what I spray, especially this time of the year. And I should say that as well. These are all weather appropriate. Now this one. It's shockingly good for the price because it's got a big tacky bottle, kind of looks like a, the front of one of the Cadillac grills, STS, looks like a Cadillac STS grill or something. And you think this, this is gonna be a loud, obnoxious, cheap, cheesy fragrance, but it is the complete opposite. It is light, it is fresh, it is citrusy, and it is woody, and it is masculine. Try that on for size, citrusy, woody, masculine. Mm. Now, if you sprayed 50 sprays of this, it would light up a room. But if you go two to three sprays of it, keep it simple, keep it gentle, and keep it moving, then you'll smell good. It's gonna get you through maybe four, six hours. You may have to reapply it, but again, go light, because it seems like that second round of, of spray, um, I don't know if it's because it's already on your system or it blends in with what's already there, but that second round, you don't have to go as heavy. So my recommendation, three to four, maybe five sprays of this, uh, before you get to the office, now right before you walk in, and I think you have yourself a nice, pleasant little office scent. And it is from the house of Annie Mail, and it is Seduction. That smells good. I like that one. I like that one. Let's go to another one. This is one of my favorite scents. It is super, super easy to wear, and it is from a house that I really, really like. It is from the house of Banana Republic and it is from their Icon line, and this is pure white. It was so hard not to put linen vetiver on this list because that could be used as well in this, but we're gonna go with pure white this time. And again, this fragrance just has, pure white is a perfect name for it. It just comes across as a nice, crisp, clean, white V-neck T-shirt, white button-up shirt, white polo shirt, just a plain white T-shirt. just. It's just a real easy fragrance to wear. And again, three to four sprays because remember you're going to your office, to your, your cubicle, um, you know, to your desk at the car lot and you don't want to offend everybody. You don't want to push 
people away because some people are sensitive to fragrances. So you want things to kind of stay in your bubble, but you want to smell good. And at the same time, you can pick this up if you find it at TJ Maxx, Burlington, Ross, Marshalls, you know, your rag stores, places like that. Um, you're going to be able to pick this up for under $25. If you have to get it from Banana Republic, you're going to pay a little bit more because I think these are $50 to $60 there. So please search all of your gray market areas, whether it's Macari, Amazon, uh, eBay, any of those, and try to find it. Facebook groups, if you're on Facebook, try to pick up Banana Republic's Pure White, and I think you will have yourself a nice, clean smelling summertime uh, close encounter um, fragrance. You know, not close encounter like the date, but just one that sits closer to your persons and still smells good. Pure White by Banana Republic. One that I have not had in my collection very long. Well, there's two, two that I haven't had in my collection very long, but still very impressed with them. This one is looks like the Dodge Charger Scat Packs. It's Jared Lane, and I really, really like this little fragrance. You will go nose blind to it real quick. You will, I'll, I'll be honest, but it's still there. It's lingering. And it's funny with this fragrance because it comes out like it's going to last a really, really long time. It, it, it doesn't. But again, it's a $12 or $13 fragrance. No, let me get that right. Yeah, maybe $14.99 is what I paid for this at Ross. I'm trying to think of how to categorize this for you. It is definitely masculine and it is another one that if you sprayed too, too much of it on, it could get a little bit cloying. It is, again, one of those woody, masculine, soft, just easy, easy type of fragrances. And I think they make fragrances like this for people who don't like loud, obnoxious, in your face fragrances. This is one that will go right into your wheelhouse and I think you will like it and you will enjoy it, especially for the price. I'll put it to you like this. I'm very impressed with the fragrance and I would pick up another one from Jared Lane tomorrow if I ran across it in Ross or wherever. I just, I would buy it because uh, I like them because you don't see them very often. And that's a plus for me. Is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. It's not. But it is a nice, masculine, easy to wear, inexpensive cologne that I think you could pull off at the office. And this one you could even pull out, let's say you went to, went to work and y'all are having a, a, a meeting after hours. I think this one would go well on that type of occasion too, that type of setting, that type of event, because I think it would do well in the nighttime as well. Jared Lane, for him. All right. This next one is one I'm really, really impressed with. I like this fragrance. I like this house. Um, it was making all the raves three or four years ago. It's kind of the fanfare for it. It's kind of down, died down now, but I think it's a really good fragrance. And it's from the house of Penguin. And it is premium blend. And if it's in a frosted bottle, you already know. And check out the dent your boy put on it. I reach for this in warmer weathers. Now, again, this is a very fresh, refreshing, crisp type of scent. Again, I can see you wearing this on a Monday morning. You had a long weekend. So you're coming back, well, Tuesday morning. So you're coming back from the 4th of July. You know, and you're just like, man, I need something that's going to brighten me up, uplift me a little bit. I think this one will do it. it. It almost smells clean and then it almost goes citrusy. So it almost smells like a really good soap or a really good shower gel, you know, the type of soap um, that you'll, you'll smell at like a doctor's office or somewhere. I've had a lot of doctor's appointments lately. So, you know, when you go in there and you wash your hands, you know, that type of soap that they have there or the type of soap that you find in really, really expensive hotels. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It wants to go really, really tropical in the, the cool and refreshing sort of sense, sort of lemonade -y, but not like uh, 
uh, uh, what is that, Dior Home Cologne, not like that, but it's just, or not like Jimmy Choo or um, John Barbados, not like those, but it's just got this cool, refreshing, calming effect to it that I think smells really, really good. And I can't tell whether that's the, mm, the animal of the Jared Lane kicking up every time I move that, but they're both really, really, really nice. Especially that animal. And even the Jared Lane, they're both really nice, guys. Again, they do sit a little closer to the skin but three to five sprays of them and I think you'll be fine four to six hours in hit yourself one or two more times and I think you'll be wonderful but those both smell really nice nice masculine I'll even say somewhat professional now I can't say that this penguin smells professional what I can say is it it does give off a very fresh refreshing uh, vibe sort of the extension of the shower and with the the thing about all the penguin fragrances to my nose they smell pretty good they just are not the best performers in the world and they're definitely gentlemanly they're not the type of fragrances that's gonna knock on the door before you get there they're gonna stay right here and I, I like that because that's needed not every fragrance has to be a 15 hour performer three hours, four hours of projection that you could smell 15 feet away. Some of them need to be just scent bubbles because some people like that, you know what I mean? A lot of people like that. And honestly, that's the way a fragrance should be when you, within arm's length. If it's more than an arm length, it may be too strong or maybe we're spraying too much because you smell me from across the street. So I know I'm an oversprayer. Nonetheless, nice citrusy, crisp, clean, good soap smelling type of scents and that is Premium Blend from the House of Penguin. I was asked about this one just earlier today from a good sub of mine, um, Mr. Lester, as I call him, Mr. E, uh, and it is Mercedes-Benz Gray. I like this little key for, oh, that smells so good. Gotta find me a spot to spray this one. Running out of room, y'all. This one, to me, has a rhubarb sort of vibe to it. Not like Mercedes-Benz Black. Not as sexy and romantic and come in, let's cuddle. Because that's what that one makes you want to cuddle. This one, I think, is more warm weather appropriate than that one. But I'll say it, I'll say this, for the $19 that I, I paid for this, every time I smell it, I like it more. It's definitely warm weather appropriate. It's a pretty good made fragrance as well. It's pretty well made. Um, I want to say that's rhubarb. And something in it is really, really sweet. I want to say that's rhubarb. Mm. But nonetheless, I do think it's okay for the office. I think it would make a really nice office or close encounter scent. Again, three to five sprays. Don't go any more than that with any of these or it could get out of hand, especially this one because it's a little bit stronger than most of the fragrances on this list. But I do. I really, I really like that. I recommend you guys pick this up if you see it. Um, Great smelling fragrance, Mercedes-Benz Gray. And this next one is, uh, or as many would say, and another one, and another one. This one, I, I like this house, I like this brand, I like this price, and it is from the house of Hollister, and it is Free Wave. And again, cool, refreshing, aquatic, woody, nice that's really really nice again not the reinvention of the wheel it's not but we're going to the office so we're not trying to knock them down we're just trying to go in there smell good get through the day be able to because that's what I do you know I'll be at work sometimes and they'll be getting on my nerves and I just be like cologne take me away you know I'll smell my cologne 
that animal is really hmm. and so is that Jared Lane now that Jared Lane is a little bit milder you can tell it's 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 not going to be a super super strong performer you will be able to pick it up but it's not going don't buy the Jared Lane thinking you're getting a fragrance that's going to last you all night because it's not But boy, that animal sure is doing something really sexy. Mm, the citrus in that is nice. Now, back to this one. Um, Free Wave, I think, is a good name for this fragrance because it's just something about it that is just cool, light, airy, refreshing, and easy. And that's what we want when we're going to the office. We, we don't want to be up in there you know, with red tobacco, which again, you can wear red tea, but you gotta calm your sprays when you do. This is one that you probably could get away with. Oh, let me get this off my screen. Somebody commented on one of my YouTube videos. Um, you probably could get away with six sprays of this, one, maybe even seven. It's that light and that airy, but nonetheless, you're going to smell good. I would not spray it on my way in. I would spray it as soon as I got in my car or, you know, whatever, um, and then, drop it in my bag and go. But Hollister Free Wave, and you can tell what type of scent it's gonna be by this bottle. Pretty bottle too, isn't it? I like it, I like that color, the color blue, slate gray. Yeah, maybe gray, gray or blue. But anyway, I like that. This next one, we're gonna give you two because they are, especially if you smell them off of the atomizers or nozzles, whichever one you wanna call it. And they are Antonio Vendetta's blue Seduction and uh, what is this? Versace's Manual Fresh. I was asked by a sub if I could do a review on this one and I told him it was gonna be in the next video. Now, I wore this to the doctor the other day and uh, one of the little ladies, the nurses, as they were coming to put that little post sock or whatever it is on my finger and uh, get my BP and all of that stuff. First thing she said was, you smell really, really nice. And I said, well, thank you, you know, I, I do try. Now, these two fragrances in the air, off skin, are very, very similar. When you smell them off the atomizer, they're similar as well. Now, when you spray them on your skin, and this is where they're a little bit different, when you spray them on your skin, this one, the Antonio Bandera is, is a little bit more melony and a little bit more fruity. This one, the Versace, is just a little bit fresher. That's it. Other than that, they're both, this one may be slightly bluer. Um, I'm not sure which one I like better than the other one. I really enjoy this one, as you can tell by the dent in this bottle. This is the only size I need of this one. This one, um, neither one of them are monster projectors, neither one of them are monster performers, but they do both smell really, really good, especially coming off of your skin in the air. People are going to really like the way that you smell when you wear these. I think they're both office friendly. I honestly don't see a way you could overspray either one of them. I just don't. I think you could put 15 sprays of this on and walk right into the office and be just fine because it's going to calm down really, really fast. You know, now you're gonna get wafts of it. They're gonna get whiffs of it every time you move, which is a beautiful thing. To me, that's the sexiest thing about being a good smelling man is that scent trail that I leave. I love it. And the same thing can be said for Antonio. Ain't that how uh, Huggy Bear said, not Huggy Bear. Ain't that how Jerome said it when him and Huggy Bear was having uh, the player's ball on Martin. I know I ain't the only one that's saying that. But nonetheless, if you can find this at a really good price, 10 to $15, I think I paid like $9 for this. And again, look at the levels. Look at the levels, guys. I don't just be telling y'all about these fragrances to talk. I actually wear these fragrances. And again, these are very, very similar. I may like this one a tad bit better, but then again, this one, again, more fruit, more melon, cleaner, fresher. And that is Versace's Man Fresh and Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction. All right, guys, we're knocking this list down. This next one is from the house of Hugo Boss. And no, it is not a Christmas tree ornament or a Christmas bell. It is Hugo Boss United. And this was 
a limited edition. I did not do any research to see if this one has gotten hard to find. I wouldn't think that it would be beautiful bottle, typical boss bottled um, bottle, but it's, it's really, really, really nice. This one again is a, is a citrus. Oh man, that's good. That's real good. It is a citrusy fragrance. Yeah, citrus, woody. I gotta put this on skin. Is it just dissipates in the in the air too fast and it's hard for me to to keep track of it, you know what I mean? And come up with what I need to say. Mm-hmm. To me off the top, the two things that you're gonna get right off the top is wood and citrus. And those are gonna be main players throughout the fragrance. And I like it because it has a bitter type of citrus in it and that is becoming one of my favorite notes. I love that bitterness from, that certain citruses gives you in a fragrance, I love it. Overall, I really like this fragrance. And again, Hugo Boss generally makes really good items, no matter whether it's watches, belts, uh, bill folds, whatever. If Hugo Boss makes it, it's normally pretty decent. And I think this fragrance is no exception to that. I think it's pretty decent as well. But what you have here is a nice, low-key, citrus, woody, masculine fragrance. Again, it's not going to give you oodles and oodles and oodles of longevity. Of uh, longevity, that's a word, longevity. Of longevity or projection. It's, it's gonna be maybe just a little bit below par, maybe four hours at best. But if you pick it up at the right price, I definitely think it's worth it just to have this bottle in your collection. And the scent is really nice as well. I like it, I like it. From the house of Hugo Boss, it is United. And I think they did something to do with the soccer games with that one. Uh-oh, I got two from Boss on here. Did not realize this. Uh, I'm trying to think if I left this out from, <laughs> I think I did. I don't think this one is supposed to be here. It seems like I had this one in my nighttime video. I'm not sure why I left it out here, but I'll show it to you anyway. It's Boss Bottle Night. I don't think this is supposed to be on this video, but he made a cameo appearance. Say goodbye, Boss Bottle Night. I don't think that's supposed to be on there. So I'm now let me see that's gonna mess up my fragrance count because I think I counted it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it's gonna turn out to be ten. How about that? All right. This next one, man, is is one that doesn't get a lot of talk. And I'm really not sure why. Because it's sexy. It's woody, it's creamy, and it's on the cups of maybe being just almost too much for the office. But if you got one of them laid back, casual settings at your office, you can pull it out. And it is from the house of Roberto Cavalli. And it is, I love Cavalli. I love just Cavalli for him. And again, I want you to look at the juice levels on this stuff. And this is one I would gladly repurchase. I don't know if it's been discontinued or anything like that. I picked it up extremely cheap and it smells really good. Little spice. This is one that you're definitely gonna wanna go three to maybe four sprays on and be out. <sighs> My glass is getting in the way. Definitely a good smelling fragrance. A little bit woody, which is a theme here. Um, and creamy. Something in it makes it creamy. <sighs> but it definitely smells good. It smells a little bit different from just your average fragrance. It definitely smells good. It has a little bit of a regal smell to it. Like it may really be expensive. And at one time, I don't know, it may have been. I don't know a whole lot about Roberto Cavalli. I know it's designer. Um, I've seen a couple of Cavalli fragrances. I have three. I have Silver Essence from Cavalli, 
which is a beautiful scent. Um, Wumu Silver Essence. And then I have this one, and then I have another one. But this one is really, really good. I just like it. It's just got a certain amount of masculinity. I need to spray that on top. Mm. A little bit of an alcohol twinge there, but I think this was about a $17 frag when I bought it. And I've had this thing forever. I mean, like forever, ever. I think I bought this in 2012, so I'm going on 10 years with this fragrance. Long time it's been in my collection. That's just good, that's just good. Woody, creamy, masculine, slightly spicy. I remember wearing this and receiving compliments. I remember, and I'll tell you why I remember, my, uh, my biological dad passed and I was uh, going to my grandmother's house was it, either, it was either before the funeral. It was sometime around the funeral. Maybe it was right after the funeral. You know how the family gets together. And I went over there and my aunt complimented that I smell good. And it's one of those light scents that you're going to go nose blind to. And you're going to be like, I can't smell it again. I can't smell it. Where is it at? It's gone. But people around you will constantly be telling you you smell good. This one just smells good. This is one you guys need to trust me on. Get an opportunity to pick this up, pick it up. And again, none of these are the reinventions of the wheel. They're all easy to get your hands on, basic fragrances with just a little bit of oomph, a little bit of extra, you know, to help you get through that work shift, but not so much off that it's, you know, annoying, clawing, or just unbearable. I like that. That's a good one. And it, it almost wants to go soapy. It's like it taps soapy on the shoulder and then turns around and runs off. That's what it does. Like, hey, so, and then it runs. But you get just a hint of soapiness in it. Just a hint. Just a hint of spice. Just a hint of sweetness. Really, really nice. Roberto Cavalli. <laughs> what was it? Roberto Cavalli. What was it again? A thousand names. I love just Cavalli him by Roberto Cavalli. Man, listen, I appreciate you guys returning to the scene of the crime and checking out the channel. It means so much to me. It does. I thank you all and I am so grateful for you all. Now, with that being said, you know what I got to do. I got to do a thumbnail. Then I got to edit it and get it up so you guys can see it. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Saturday. Stay hydrated, stay cool, and most importantly, stay sprayed up. Again, thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. It is greatly appreciated. Um, and you know, you already know. I love you all and God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.